Hello beauty, happy to see you here. Welcome, welcome. In today's video, we are going to play with a new product and a bunch of products from Fenty Beauty, but we're definitely gonna review because I went yesterday and I bought it from Sephora. We're going to review that Ease Drop Skin Tint from Fenty Beauty. So if you're curious about that, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so if you don't know, Fenty Beauty just released this um, Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint yesterday on her website but also on Sephora's website and it is $29.50. This is supposed to be a light to medium coverage for all skin tones. It says it blends and blurs to instant perfection light as air but also it promises it says a lightweight buildable light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred and smooth and flexible shades for all. The coverage since it's light, the finish is natural, the formulation is liquid. It says free of parabens and fat lights. It is vegan, gluten free, and cruelty free. And it is it says this is an easy to apply flexible skin tint. Rihanna wanted to create it quickly and visible, evens out your complexion complexion with a blurred um, effect. The Hydro Blend Complex and, hum and Humidity Sweat and Transfer Resistant Formula has a smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare. And it says to use it to shake it well and apply a few drops with your fingers for the full bodied foundation brush 110 which is sold separately. I do not have that. And it says made to layer with your skincare and primer. So let's have a look at this. I have not taken it out of the packaging. I got mine in uh, 11. Here it is. So this one has 32 millimeters. It has 1.08 fluid ounces. And this is how the packaging looks like. It's plastic. It's good. I mean, for the price, it's good. So let's shake it well. I'm going to put on my skin. I'm going to go with June & Co. Miracle Cream for my primer. All right, so now let's try this. I do not usually like to put... Um, to apply things with my hands but you know we're we're gonna try it and see I do have a bunch of red spots on my face and stuff like that I have some acne going on so we shall see if it's gonna cover that or not I do not have high hopes like covering a lot but I am expecting to see some blurring effect on it because that's what is promising you know what i mean so let's see push this in so this is definitely the best shade that i could pick out of there uh, because I was looking at the 9 one, that's what I thought I'm going to be first. But then I was looking and the 9 one had too red of undertone to it. So I was like, nah, I don't think so. And then I looked at 10, it has too much gold, I believe it was. And then this one had the neutral undertone. So this kind of gives me a little bit of, yeah, it kind of does, it kind of looks a little bit similar to Pat McGrath Foundation, the Skin Fetish one. And I, I have to say, I'm a little bit surprised about the coverage that it offers. Um, I just, I was not, I was... I was really not expecting 
this much coverage and it does look really nice on the skin mm -hmm. okay so I need a little bit more for my neck because I don't have enough over there I'm going to put a little bit on my hand right here and I did not use too much on that on my face so that surprised me even more that I get so much coverage out of nothing and it looks so very, very natural. I have to say this might give Pat McGrath a run for her money because damn, it looks very similar to it. Now we'll see how it wears down because I do, I am going to have a nine hour wear test on this one and i want to see if that sweat proof water proof and uh, whatever else transfer proof it is actually real but wow and it just feels so good on the skin it literally feels like a moisturizer you don't feel anything on your skin while the pat mcgrath it does feel a little bit like you have something over there is a little bit more tacky but this one Wow, I just, hmm, I like it. I, I do like it. That's impressive. Okay, so while I was there, I did grab a few more things. And I grabbed the Fenty Beauty powder because I want to use this one on top of this and see how it goes. But also, I grabbed one of her uh, cream blushes. I'm excited to try it, finally. Um, and I also have a bunch of other things from Fenty. So I'm going to continue doing my face with them. First of all, I'm just going to go and do my concealer because I don't have anything from Fenty as conceal to conceal my eyes, under my eyes. So I'm going to go real quick with Benefit Bowen Caicos Concealer. Okay, so I opened the powder and it has this tiny little puff puff over there. It is kind of cute, but I don't know how usable that is because I did bought a mini. And I got mine in banana, so I'm going to add a little bit over here and go in with a sponge and try to set my under eyes so here we go i heard good things about this powder um i was interested in in it for a while now but i was like i was unsure if i want to purchase it but now that i got the skin tint i was like you know what why not try the powder now and see how it is I'm gonna get one of my brushes and just kinda set a little bit in my face. I kinda like it. I'm, I, I'll be honest with you. I kinda like how this looks right now. Oh, damn. I forgot. I forgot to put the cream blush. No. Shit. Okay. Well, we're going to put it on top of the powder and see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not too bad. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I got a mini um, for this. And this is from the Chicks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. And it is in uh, Daiquiri Di Dip. Daiquiri Dip, I guess. It is crazy orange. <laughs> I love this. I think this is going to look so freaking cute during the summer. So I'm going to just add a little bit over here. going to get my sponge. Is it going to break it, the powder down? Maybe. Yeah, it does just a little bit. It kind of takes a, 
it takes that powder away but I'm gonna go with powder on top again I'm gonna just gonna take what is left from on my brush and just go over it a little bit and then just clean under my eyes too Okay, that looks good. I like it. I like it. Now for bronzer, I do have one of her bronzers as well. So I have the Sun Stalker Caramel Cutie. I had this for such a long time and I did use a lot of it. Um, so let's do my nose a little bit. I do think it's a little bit more, it's a little darker than what I need, but that's okay. All right, we're bronzed and everything looks freaking great right now. <laughs> I love how my skin looks like. It looks very, very healthy. Um, I am going to go real quick to put some brows on. And then we're going to come back and her eyeshadow palette. We'll do a, a little, a quick look with this one. Okay, so the brows are filled. Um, this is how this eyeshadow palette looks like. This is the Moroccan Spice. This was their very first eyeshadow palette that they came out with i'm not even sure if it's still in stock or not or if they still sell it on their website not sure but i think i'm just gonna go with this pink and then maybe this shade right here um just do maybe half and half i'm thinking something quick something easy i don't want something crazy uh so i'm just gonna start with the dark one the dark shade um, if her face products are really beautiful and I really do enjoy them, um, her eyeshadow formulation could use a little bit of more work. I don't know if she changed it with the new ones, the little ones, but this one, I, it's not necessarily one of my favorite formula. I was looking when I went in Sephora yesterday, I was looking at her new body sauce and I wanted to uh, buy the one that was in Honey because it's, it's so gorgeous and beautiful. But unfortunately, they were sold out of that one. That one was the only one that was sold out from all the shades she has that was the only one that was sold out and in the store um i'm probably just going to uh, use the 10 percent off in april and buy it then because wow that is beautiful to have that on your body during the summertime oh it's gonna look amazing amazing all right, so I'm going to go with that pink, light pink over there. I'm just going to do this one right in here. And for my under the eye area, I'm just going to go with the darker color that I used. And just kind of brush a little bit under my eye. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. I'm actually going to add this mascara from Makeup Geek. I've been playing with it for the last few days and um, I do have an idea how this is but I am going to talk about it in a future video so stay tuned for that subscribe if you're not already give this video a thumbs up
All right, so now that mascara is done, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter. I do have two highlighters from her. I have this one that is the Kilowatt Hustler Baby, which it's my favorite. And then I have the Trophy Wife as well. This one, it's kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Um, but I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my nose, but I'm gonna use this one for my face. I'm gonna grab, this is how it looks like. I love this and I've been using, I use this quite a while um, and it's just, it's just perfect for my skin tone, but also it does not emphasize anything on your skin. It's just so pretty and it's like so gorgeous. Like even with this one, even with this foundation, it still looks so natural and so glowy. I love her highlighters are just gorgeous. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and just kind of add a little bit on my nose. Yeah, you can see it right there. I'm going to try to make sure it doesn't look too crazy. But yeah, her highlighters are beautiful, crazy intense. Um, but this color is a little bit out there for me. So I don't usually go... Um, with that color too often there we go i think we're done with the face let's do lips i do have lip products from her as well i do have a darker lipstick now because i did finish one of the other lipsticks that i had from her which i really really love her lipsticks i love this um lipsticks from her they're the mademoiselle one i have this one in griselda this is the dark one but i had a different one too and that was gorgeous and this one is a little a little on the darker side so i'm just gonna add that a little bit over there and then spread it around gorgeous formula on these and then I'm going to take her very known gloss and just kind of add a little bit of this. So this is how it looks really up close and personal. Look at the foundation. It looks really, really nice on the skin right now. I don't have any problems with anything that went down with this foundation. I actually really, truly enjoy it. I think it's really beautiful for natural skin, but also it gives you a little bit of a blurring effect as well. So we're going to try this one for eight or nine hours. We'll see how it's going to wear down. That's how is my premises. I need to see how a foundation wears down before I give it my approval. Right now it is... 10 51 p.m and uh we are going to wear it until like maybe 8 or 9 p.m so i'm gonna come back in a few hours and show you how this looks like in natural lighting as well and then a few hours later to see how it wears down all right i'll see you in a bit hello chica so this is how it looks right now it's been four hours since i had this on and it looks pretty good. It still looks pretty good. I do have these ugly breakouts over here. So it cleans a little bit in these areas. But other than that, everything looks pretty good. I do have a little bit of an oily nose. Just a nose. I just don't know. But yeah, I have a little bit of an oily nose. But everything else looks amazing for a skin tint that is insane so i like it so far three hours of about four hours in it's good it's good i will see you in a few hours okay cutie so it's already been nine hours since i had this foundation or skin tint whatever you want to call it on and i have to say that i'm kind of impressed with how good this looks on me and it's still on my face because it's just a skin tint you know what i mean at the end of the day this is not foundation this is a skin tint and to look the way this one looks on me right now i have to say i'm impressed 
yes, I am oily, but that's fine because that's how I am, you know, that's, I have oily skin. Um, so if I would have powdered during the day a little bit, it would have been a little bit better now at the end, but I have not, I have not sprayed my face to set anything down. So I think if we do that, it's going to look better, but how it looks right now, it's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. And it looked very natural all day during the day. So I like this foundation. I think it's totally worth it. I think $28 for a skin tint. This is perfect for those days when you just don't want to care too much about your face. I think this one looks the best without anything else around it. Um, so I like it even with the powder and everything else. I think it looks really nice and really beautiful. So yeah, it has my stamp of approval. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>